tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. Hello folks, usually I don't care about innovations uh, which are tiny or more or less tiny or even the, the profound innovations in Maya for example. I, t I take my time and uh, after a couple of months they're so I'm so much used to them that uh, I don't care about whether they were new or whatever they're just charming and nice so we're talking about 2021.1 now and new in this one here is for example this uh, search field here control f if you like just type in something like um, ep curve tool and then you see the top listing is the ep curve tool and uh, you get this cross here and um, when you go to the for example side window you can create a curve now and uh, if you want to do this again uh, control F and the curve tool is still at the top so you create a second curve and you go to the top window for example select the first curve and move it a little bit over here the first one is so these these two are selected and now uh, we do control F again using this uh, icon basically and now we type in loft and we create a loft between these two curves and actually it's gray underneath the command would be surfaces and uh, re reverse direction let me check out if we can find this with this menu as well so I type in reverse reverse surfaces it, it doesn't reverse I don't know why that is but it does do it when we use this command anyway this is quite uh, an interesting innovation and uh, previously would you would search for commands here now this opens the search field which we've just used in previous versions of Maya this was just a search for commands and I think Maya has about 800 commands in these trees here uh, and um, in in all the five modes animation for example and um, this is uh, just a, a side effect which I just wanted to show you let me create a new scene and um, use this menu icon here help and we want to check out the interactive tutorials basic skills and view all interactive tutorials so if you're a beginner go to basic skills and we go to view all interactive tutorials so we see my tutorials now and um, here intro to animation interactive tutorial new for Maya 2022.1 so these are all new things lighting and shading um, modeling interactive tutorial so uh, what I do is I demonstrate to you how to use this interactive tutorial in which way is it interactive so let's check it out uh, you click here and then you download the scene you need the scene file which is here it's a Maya ASCII file in a zipped format and you need to unpack it and I think it's best to put it in your Maya folder uh, where is the Maya scenes folder well if you go to Maya open scene and here you see the scenes folder and I have one already which is called interactive modeling because I unzipped it right here so I open the interactive modeling Maya tutorial and um, in your case it will probably ask you to permit certain Python scripts to be executed uh, allow them the execution because you need the Python script in order to have this interactive tutorial welcome to 3d modeling so you don't see this properly uh, if you don't allow the Python script to be executed and I did it before that's why I don't see this Python script notification welcome to 3d modeling click start to begin the interactive tutorial actually when you uh, are a little bit f uh, familiar with Maya you see the outliner is um, hidden 
But uh, when you go to the outliner, when you open it here, you see do not touch. Do not touch. We don't touch anything here, really, and we close the outliner again. The do not touch things are there because we need them for this modeling course. It's a very basic course where we learn basic skills. Uh, we start, and now we see this pop-up, which we can use, Alt Option, uh, Tumble, etc. And we can move around in the scene. That's the things we we've, uh, we've learned in... Uh, lots of basic tutorials. I made a few of them as well. So welcome to 3D Modeling. Dolly the ca camera forward. And I click Next. So this bot appears here now. Welcome to 3D Modeling. Click Next. Okay, this is slide 3 of 82. Slide is probably not the correct uh, word for this, what we see, but uh, we're in the scene, which is... The untouchable scene and uh, we have this bot appearing here by the way the bot is well it used to be here under general editors but it's not here anymore because the content browser moved all the way down here in the windows this is windows and the content browser is here here you find the bot that's the bot we've just realized to appear here so this uh, quite a nice creature here looks a little bit like coming from Pixar so slide 3 of 82 next one I didn't do anything the bot did that and uh, the bot played the Python script basically played back the animation click next creating your first object click next so slide 6 now Creating your first object, click Next. Creating the, your first object, next. That's eight now. And create a cylinder. And um, we can create a cylinder with this command, really. But I want to go to the top here and uh, create that cylinder. And our bot is quite fascinated to see that cylinder. Now, slide nine, we step forward to 10. Select the scale tool. Well. I don't know where the scale tool is if I'm a total beginner, but uh, I, since I've used Maya for quite some time, I know that it's the key shortcut R and uh, I scale the cylinder. Yeah, Adjust the scale in a single direction. That's what I'm doing. Open the channel box. How do I open the channel box? Well, I know how to open the channel box. I press Control A. And I get the attribute editor and when I press the control A again I get the channel box but I don't know how I'm supposed to find that uh, without m more help in this basic tutorial reshaping an object set translate to zero to zero so I'm moving it up a, a bit then uh, rotate to zero 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 and the scale to ten by 2 by 10 finished and now I can click next slide 15 now we're stepping forward to 16 uh, reshaping object object click next hover the mouse over the cylinder that's what I'm doing how can I click next when hovering the mouse over the cylinder uh, well, basically, I think they mean that now I am um, I can select faces. This is a face. This is a face. And uh, click Next. Hover the mouse over the cylinder. And now I'm uh, selecting the edges. Click Next. Now I'm selecting the points. Click Next. Hold right-click over the cylinder. Change to edge, vertex or face mode. So that's what I'm going to do. Change to face mode. Next. Select the move tool. Move some components around. Okay. This one over here. This one slightly up like this. Next. Uh, reshaping an object. Click next. Reshaping an object. Click next. So the, the bot has changed. The script has changed my geometry a little bit click the P cylinder tab now I need to search what is the P cylinder one tab is it here or there or there well it's here um, 
in the attribute editor it's uh, the P cylinder one tab that's what I'm supposed to pick and uh, now I'll click next um, click the poly cylinder one tab this is the poly cylinder shape this is the poly cylinder one tab they have different purposes then I click next again and I set the subdivision heights to 5 subdivision that's 5 and the cap to 7 oh this was wrong I think I did it wrong because I changed the subdivision into 5 here never mind let's see how this uh, works out switch to face mode right click and hold on the cylinder and swipe down to face that's what I'm going to do now and now select a middle row face what is a middle row face well the bot in this case shows me what uh, the bot means I select it select a middle row face that's what I did but I cannot um, move forward because I changed the cylinder to a, an unexpected topology so I restart this step and I cannot go back really I don't know how to go back I made this mistake by changing the subdivisions to a, a not the tutorial way and uh, that's why I'm stuck and I need to basically restart the whole system and um, not the system but Maya and the, the scene file and this is something I really find odd here you cannot step back you cannot um, you need to follow these things precisely because it's a Python script it wants a perfect execution and uh, in some cases I, I'm really stuck where is the tab and uh, how do I scale an object since I don't really know how to scale it probably uh, by using the first tutorial for to total beginners with the uh, user interface but I don't know so this is a little bit it's a good idea this these interactive tutorials but um, this I can hear the search field control F is pretty amazing and with this I leave you for now experiment with these interactive tutorials if you need to and have a nice day bye bye